Hello everyone and welcome to my home office. My name is Ali Reza Kishala as the program director for the business analytics uh, course at Minoth University. As you all know, we are currently dealing with the COVID-19 situation and we're working for, from home, but I wanted to assure you that we are working harder than ever to prepare uh, this course for you to join in September. Um, now, I also wanted to uh, tell you that we, we are having an exciting, in fact, successful uh, application season. We have received uh, a lot of applicants with diversity of backgrounds that will eventually create a very dynamic class for this course. Our uh, head of department, uh, Professor McNamara and myself are in full force and preparing this uh, course. As a matter of fact, we have uh, just recently recruited three additional faculty in the analytics domain to help us to run this uh, program. Uh, and again, in fact, I was also recently recruited uh, by the Minuth University to take over this program and in addition to coordinating, I will be teaching you the marketing analytics uh, module. Uh, from this uh, point, uh, myself uh, and our colleagues in the international uh, office, uh, Angela and Pauline will be your point of uh, contact, please feel free to contact us whenever you have a question or any issue to deal with. Uh, now, I just wanted to address few quickly a, a few questions that I received from you. Uh, the first one being the content of the course. Now, uh, this course was designed uh, to bridge the gap between two different functions or two different type of functions within organization. The commercial functions, usually you have the marketing, you have the sales departments and so on, uh, and more the technical functions that you have also the analytics department and so on. So we wanted to create an, a, a course that can help people who have the commercial backgrounds, let's say they have business studies, to be able to understand the language and talk to the analytics people and vice versa those who have a very strong technical backgrounds let's say in engineering they can understand the, uh, the commercial side and apply their knowledge and employ analytics to uh, to address the commercial issues within the organization so as such, this program won't be a substitute for a uh, data analytics uh, program, which is usually run by a mathematics department or maybe computer science. But having said that, uh, the various analytics uh, courses within, uh, within this uh, program will make use of uh, programming or statistical packages such as Python and R, SPSS, uh, Excel. So you will be trained as we go on uh, in this uh, program. The second question that I usually get is about the job prospects of graduates. So if you go on uh, any job search website like LinkedIn and search uh, the key keywords as business analyst, analyst program uh, intelligence program manager or marketing intelligence or uh, product uh, analyst you will come across a lot of different job posting that come from a very reputable actually very reputable organizations such as Google Dell Facebook uh, Amazon Apple, uh, analytics partners, and uh, so on and so forth. So it all depends on how good you are when you go on the job market, which partly is our mission to prepare you for that market. 
Now the final question that I receive is about uh, the autumn school. So uh, the autumn school is uh, created in fact to have a level playing field for everyone who enters the program because we will have a diversity of students, some who have very good commercial background and some who have very good technical background. We wanted to give the opportunity for both to learn a little bit more of the other side of the story. So once they enter the program, they can make the best out of the various modules that are thought. So uh, essentially this is going to be an eight day, uh, eight day uh, module and we'll have two components. First one uh, business and the second one analytics component and depending on your background you will be required to take one, maybe both or maybe none of them. Uh, but it is free for everyone to join. Even if you are not required, you can opt in and sit through the uh, classes. So uh, that is gonna actually happen, let's say, uh, mid-September, and is, it will mostly overlap with the orientation week, and we will uh, have it as close as possible to the start of the uh, September semester. Uh, so those are generally the points that I wanted to make. Hopefully I will host the video conference with you if you are interested in your future. And um, I just wanted to thank you for tuning in and looking forward to see you at Minuth.